past week I went to a, a movie premiere. Very exciting, right? Can you believe it? Yeah. I saw this movie, Prince Avalanche, directed by David Gordon Green. And uh, it was great. It had uh, it has uh, uh, Paul Rudd and, and uh, Emil Hirsch in it. It's pretty much just like the two of them. And it, I liked it so much. It was fantastic. I guess that comes out soon, so I recommend it. If you want to see a good, grounded yet surreal character study movie with a lot of really awesome acting in it, I, I really, I recommend it very highly. So then I went to this and then afterwards it's like, go to the, the party. I'm like, all right get to go to the, the party go to this hotel get into the uh, elevator they're bringing people up through like a big I guess like a freight elevator it's probably about me and uh, probably it's probably about 18 people on the elevator and then it goes up and it stops it just stops the elevator got stuck Oh, you know, it gets hot. You know, it gets hot really fast. Elevators with packed people that are stuck. Stuck elevators get hot very fast. So, uh, I'm stuck in this thing. We were probably stuck for almost a half hour, I'd say. And, uh, there's a point. There's a, there was a, a, a woman who was coordinating the the uh, the delivery up and down like a, like an elevator operator or she was working for the for the party and her her turf was the elevator so she's on there with a walkie-talkie and look that's about as thankless as it gets being the person who has to talk on the walkie-talkie to tell people the elevator outside there hey we're stuck when you know they probably figured out you're stuck by the when the elevator never shows up on either end and it wasn't her fault she was working hard but man there was a dude on this elevator this euro dude oh this guy was so annoying I'm telling you You'd almost think I created him out of like my worst nightmares. The elevator stuck. He starts talking and look, you're in a thing packed with people. Even if you're not the panicking type, you're still in a, a confined thing and it's getting hot and you almost get, you almost get taken to a state of, of heightened uh, anxiety or whatever you want to call it because of the other people in it and then when you have a, a guy like this guy who we're stuck this guy starts talking it's stuck in the elevator it's stuck it's stuck talk did you did you talk to them yet did you talk to them yet like he's saying to the woman with the walkie-talkie did you tell them that we're stuck? She's like, sir, I did tell them we're stuck. And what did they say back? At you, you, you can hear what they say back. It's a walkie talkie. You heard their reply. Look, they whispered something back to her. Also, this is loud walkie talkie. Then he goes like this. We're running out of air in here. You need to tell them we're running out of air. Well, no, we're not running out of air. It's not a, not a sealed cube. It's not an aquarium. We're running out of air in here. Which now works other people into a frenzy because this dummy puts the, the concept of us running out of air into people's heads. And other people start to panic now a little bit. 
We're running out of air in here. Then he says to the woman, Tell, ask them to tur turn on the air conditioning. Yeah, turn it. Turn, yeah, turn on the air conditioning. Yeah, you know those air conditioned freight elevators? Tell them to turn on the air conditioning. And now people are like groaning at this guy who won't stop talking about how we're running out of air. It's like this one woman was like, can you please stop saying we're running out of air? We're not running out of air. And I did what I do best. I checked out. Shut my eyes. Leaned my head against the elevator wall. I said to myself, there is nothing I can contribute to get us off this elevator faster. So I'm going to pull a Doctor Strange and leave this plane and go to a different plane. And I did. I went somewhere else. Slowed my breathing. I just listened to this idiot. The soundtrack of an idiot. We're running out of oxygen. We're running out of air. Then the elevator finally moves. We get sent to like the kitchen. And this is, I'm going to say, a, uh, I'm going to say this is a mark on the uh, hotel's uh, 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 execution in this, with this thing. There's a hotel employee who starts screaming at us because this is not the floor we're supposed to be getting off at. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Well, maybe your elevator should work and we wouldn't be getting off on this floor. So, oh, oh, by the way, I was planning at the movie. I was like, well, I could stand to use the uh, little boy's room at some point. That's all right. I'll do it at the uh, party. Get in the cab. Go to the party. Oh, I'll wait till we get upstairs. Yeah. So we finally get out. I find a little boy's room in the hotel restaurant. And who am I joined by? Were you also in the elevator? Were you also in the elevator too? And I'm just like, yeah. Like I, I, I did not want to engage this guy. Yeah. Could you believe that? That we were stuck in the elevator like that? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm just saying yeah or no. I don't even know what I'm saying back to this guy. But nothing had more than four word letters in it. What I was saying back. It was either yeah or no. Could you believe it? Then I arranged to go through the restaurant, through the wine, little wine hallway slash cellar, whatever they had. To go through a doorway, get led by somebody, an employee there, who takes us to a different elevator, which will go up to the roof. And as as we're, that door is, we're stepping inside that elevator, here comes two other people getting on it. A lady. And then this guy. We were stuck on the elevator. Could you believe... Like, he's saying the same thing again. It's like, is this guy a recording I'm hearing here? Like, it was one of those things where it's like, yeah, it happened. It sucked. But it happened, and we're, we're moving forward. We don't need to live in that moment about how... It's like, this, what's this guy looking for? It's that kind of guy. Says, you can tell he's, like, looking for freebies in some way. I'm going to keep moaning about the elevator until this hotel gives me a free night. Could you believe that the way we were stuck, it was so hot in there and we were running out of oxygen and it was so hot. And then he says, so what was the movie that this is a, a party for? Wait, you don't even know what the movie is? This is like some trash. This is like some grifter jumping on a thing. You don't even know what the movie is. 
what's it about the the painting the streets is that what this movie is about they're painting the streets yeah that's what it, they're painting the streets unbelievable this guy oh he's, he's gonna be at the party don't worry don't worry he'll take up plenty of space in this super cramped party this guy and his uh, lady friend there's two people who didn't who did not contribute or witness the movie that you're here to honor what is the movie can we get up on the roof I, I do that thing where it's like yeah, you, you be a gentleman. You let you let the ladies off first. I did not do that this time. I stepped in front of the ladies to get off first. To get out of there, I go sit down. My lady friend goes and gets me a nice, a cold drink. Oh, and actually the first, yeah, so go get a cold drink. I'm sitting down. We're trying to, we're trying to relax now. Then I look over my shoulder. This guy's making his way toward us. And I just looked away to like give him, it was like the, the most isolating look away that I did. It was like Godfather level. It was like, it's like Godfather level. Is that Godfather or Godfather 2? What's the one where they shoot Frodo, Mike? Godfather 2. Like when he shoots Frodo and then his wife comes, Kay, she's like, Hey, you shot Frodo. And like he like looks away like it's all business. That's what the look I had. And then uh he he picked up on it and turned away. But oh this guy. The worst human. Nominating him for worst human. Worst human of 2013. That guy's my nominee. Best show, you're on